everyone. Um, welcome to Norris Cove or welcome back. I am Yoshida. I am a self-employed hairstylist and I also own Norris Cove and I like to get my life together by planning minimally and functionally and also like to budget plan. So today we're going to be doing my budget. Um, I was supposed to <laughs> did one what last week and the week before that. You know, life got hectic. So before I knew it, time had passed, but no excuses here. Um, I said I would come back and say what I did with the 188. I can't remember what that final, let me try to whip out what that actual amount came to be. Um, but I think I just like used it. I did save a little bit that week. Let's see what we got. Let me go to schedule and I can attempt to tell you if I didn't take it out. So we estimated 800. That was the week of November the 20th through the 26th. We actually made 1,000, let me put that in, 1,185. Um, so that was pretty good. Norris Cove, I don't, I can't remember that week, but we guesstimated about 150, and I really think we came up under that because it was Black Friday, but we were very close to this, so we're just going to move that on over, so we did pretty good. Um, I can't remember what all got paid, but I'm pretty sure this week everything got paid. Um, I know that Ally got paid, of course, booth rent, and GoDaddy, I think, has moved, and it's more than this. It's almost like 953 Um, I just paid that. Um, PayPal, I gave them 50 because I paid after the time it was due. Um, to my knowledge, Zip got paid after pay. Amazon, yes, got paid, and Barclays. So, and Barclays actually came out the following week. So, yes, everything got paid this week. So, we're going to move on with life. I'm going to go to my monthly here. I did get manage to get my December set up, my monthly. And this is just how I have it set up. I like to decorate the monthly, but, you know, I keep everything else simple. So, for this week, we are on the week of the 11th through the 17th. So as usual, here is my main source of income. And then we have Norris Cove. I'll be getting paid from Norris Cove this week. I have a little cheat sheet over here. Um, 165.28. And it's going to be just a couple of dollars short because of the fees that they take out. So let's just say 155 um, from Norris Cove. And then for hair this week, y'all, it has been slow. I'm going to stick with about $800 here. That's going to be my guesstimate. Um, my total, I'm just going to write in total here of $955. So we're working with $955 this week. This week, normally I don't, well, I normally don't take money from my business because it just goes back into the business. So I'm going to add it with my income because, well, pretty much I'm going to be buying products for the business. So nonetheless, we'll be using some of that this week. This week for bills, on the 11th, we have Chase. And I think it's 50. Sometimes it's 100. I should have looked before I got on camera, but we're going to do 50. And then we'll write the actual when it actually comes in. We have Afterpay. Y'all, I'm going to soon be done with these. Afterpay totaling $121.69. That's also due on the 11th, $121.69. I really don't have anything left over from last week, so... I may have to pay these late, which I don't want to do, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, on the 13th, something is supposed to come out on the 13th. Obviously, I don't have anything down. So, the next thing is on the 15th, I have um, a firm. 
and I didn't write that amount down, but I think I just looked at it. Here it is. I have twenty-eight seventy-two, and that's on the fifteenth for twenty-eight seventy-two. Um, my car note is due on the fifteenth, but Ella, I don't write the amount. Um, this is not the full payment either, anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, we got a firm. Also, we have a credit card due. I need to make a note on my little cheat sheet over here. We need to catch up Walmart. Um, also on the 15th, we have Capital One. And that's usually like $28. I'm going to try to do 30 And then we have Walmart that I have to catch up. I'm going to do that on the 15th as well. And I'm going to do 30 uh, Citibank is on the 17th. I haven't paid them in a while because the interest was just, I couldn't. But we're going to have to give them something, which is we're going to try to give them 100 And then I have booth rent due on the 16th. And that's $250. So right now, to my knowledge, this is all that... I have, I'm going to do this first to see if I will even be able to do any sinking funds or envelopes because I definitely want to um, start back my envelopes. So let's get a calculator. So we have a total of $641. It's actually just a little bit more, but not just a little bit. It's some more with my car note. Um, I'm gonna put it here and then put the real total off camera. And again, one day I will share my car note. Um, it's expensive. <laughs> and the only reason I don't share it is because there are person people follow me. I don't want them to be thinking that I'm rich because I ain't. <laughs> but anywho, that's why I don't really share my car note. Um, also, like I said, I want to be able to do some sinking funds. So with what's left over, which y'all, to be honest with you, with my car note, there is nothing left over. So we need to make some more money. But if we were to do the math from the 955, 600 minus 955, um, we would have $354 left, which we will not. Um, we are pretty much in the negative this week. So... Again, I'm self-employed, so my income changes. This all can change. It may be more than 800, but I like to work with this number. Um, this is what I'm guesstimating according to last week. This is not even really my busy week. So, yeah, so this is what we're working with. So we got to make this work. Somebody ain't going to get paid. Somebody just ain't going to get paid. What, what I do know will get paid is my booth rent because I have to have somewhere to work. Um... Chase more likely because I really like that card. Um, after pay, I may just pay it late. Affirm, of course, just pay those things late. Um, my car note, because it's due on the 15th, it may not come out to next week, which is a good thing. So we're still kind of working with this $641. So let's put down here remaining. And all I'm going to do with the remaining is take it to next week to help with my car note. Um, 354 59 So, I can't even go grocery shopping this week. <laughs> I need to go grocery shopping. That's going to be another whole sinking funds. And I'm going to do a video coming up um, explaining my sinking funds and cash envelopes for 2024. I just want to sit with myself with those and make sure that I'm being more intentional with my envelopes because I was saying on my IG Live that I just created a bunch of envelopes and I couldn't stick with it. They were overwhelming. So I wanna be more intentional in 2024 with my budget, with cash envelopes and stuffing and things like that. And I think that will help me be more consistent. When you just create things just to be creating them, um, you, it's hard to be consistent because you're not really kind of married to it, if that makes sense. But nonetheless, this is this week's budget. So we need to bring in some more money this week. That's just simple. <laughs> That's just simple. We need to uh, bring in some extra money. 
I was saying on my finance live that I'm going to um, go to real estate school next year. And also, I want to um, find a job. So, I have to bring in more income. So, that is that. So, we will see how all this pans out. Uh, again, I'll do my best to come back next week to tell you how this worked out. Um, prayerfully, better. Better than it looks. So, that is that, you guys. I know they're kind of quick and to the point. But I just love to share my budget. Um, maybe it'll resonate with someone. I know I'm not the only self-employed hairstylist out there that's trying to get their budget together. So, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section. And also, do me a favor, if this is your first time here, uh, leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know that this is your first time. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.